So here we are back on the Tandem XE radio. Now in that video we will have a little bit closer look in the menu, in the menu structure. And um, yeah, therefore uh, compared to the other video I switched the uh, menu completely in English. Uh, you can switch it to English. Oh, let's have a look together. We can have a, go in settings, general. English, so you see there's a lot of languages, a lot, a lot, a lot of languages. So really international radio, we switch back to English for that video. And uh, yeah, <clears throat> what do we have? How do we uh, program that radio? We got one uh, uh, yeah, button block here and a wheel there with the center button. And uh, so you can either, uh, if you go, want to go to model menu, you can press on there, display, is that one, system, is that one. But you have also all that functions here on the bottom. So it's a touch screen, really handy one. So you can go there, not problem. You can also slide them here. And if you don't really like a uh, touch screen, you can use that wheel here to go forward and backward. Uh, and uh, if you want to choose a function, just press the center button to enter there. So uh, there's a lot of ways you can run the model or run the, the setup. And um, we want to have a, a look together here on outputs. You have all your outputs with uh, showing you all the channels and what's moving. The model is moving already at the back. It's switched on. And yeah, what's a bit special or what was at least a bit special to me, all the settings are done in uh, mixers. So even if you just want to have a, yeah, uh, that's that stays in German because you type that name in. By the way, uh, talking about names, you can uh, give every channel, every wh whatever, every mixer, you can uh, put your own name in. So that's why uh, here we have uh, uh, we are still in German because that's all names that I um, put in. Let's say uh, that Schild heben, which means uh, lift the blade. We type again and then it asks us what do you want to do? Edit or add a mix there or move it or clone it. We want to edit it. Um, because as I said, even that really basic function where you say that uh, the joystick here should control the uh, channel. Uh, we can have a look. So should, for example, uh, let's have a quick look. Uh, channel 3, so I want to uh, control channel 3 with that function. Even that is uh, done in mixers and that was a bit new to me. Uh, but in the end, if you know it, it's really cool because you have everything in one um, in one menu. Uh, I don't know if it really need to, uh, if mixer is a good name for it. Um, but yeah, however, you have everything there, you have mixers there, you have all the setup there. And um, yeah, you can switch it on and off uh, with a, uh, that's the first, uh, or the first is the name. Uh, you can uh, switch it on and off, or here it's always on. You can give, a, uh, give them a, a switch here. Um, I have different flight modes. I will show you that later. Uh, yeah, the source. Um, so where is that, uh, that, uh, function coming from. If you just enter here, uh, it gets that direct. If you, for example, move that left and right, it's that function back to that. If you want, would have it here. Um, you can have it here as well, but we'll just go quickly back to that stick. So it's really easy to, um, to uh, choose the, uh, the stick. You can set curves, add different curves. You can see here, you can do really crazy curves. We did some tests with that. 
um, yeah, offset movement slow up slow down so a lot of functions and on the bottom you set the output um, you just give it the output channel which gives you the whole list of channels um, where you say I want to be uh, no, uh, <clears throat> left that menu but let's quickly enter back in so here you uh, set the, the channel and as I said you have here a whole list of functions um, where is there is mixers in there is all the basic functions in and uh, so it's all in that menu here and that's the uh, bit yeah, was a bit special part to me but if you know it it's really nice because you have everything in, in one position so that's cool and so what do we've got here blue buttons um i can we can enter quickly in flight mode and there you see it at once it's uh i use it here as uh, to change the flight modes uh, or it's also in german because i entered that name so also for flight modes you can enter the name yourself um, that's basically first gear second gear third gear so here i have my three speed electronics three speed gearbox and you can do the same here you can uh, put on whatever function you want you can also set this um, little buttons here uh, that it uh, will switch on or off uh, there's multiple ways you can use them so that's quite cool <clears throat> and yeah let's have a look on that three speed there is another video with the three speed uh, gearbox and so let's have a quick look together anyway the controllers are bleeping so they want to do something they are bored okay so let's go first gear and what does it does it's just lift the blade a little bit and so yeah you know from the other videos it's just full stick slowly driving And what we do here, we can I can show you if I keep the same uh, the same uh, um, speed on the let's go the, let's get the model a bit further back. So let's say I have let's say quarter stick forward, set speed, second gear, third gear. So. Uh, why we use that electronic uh, gearbox uh, I showed that in another video but that's really cool especially in combination with that powerful brushless drive there so yeah that's it basically from my side ah one more thing that uh, screen here is uh, just you can just highlight or show uh, um, stuff there either a picture or whatever uh, value you want to uh, have there there is timers you can have a, there's a lot of telemetry uh, sensors that you can connect to the radio and you can show them either there or there or here and there's other cool functions uh, I will show you in a later video and uh, yeah so that's just a quick 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 overview on the uh, on the menu how it's working what's a bit special uh, to me we can have a quick look here uh, on that screen menu got that so here you can see change wi uh, widget so you can for each uh, little uh, little um, function you can uh, uh say what you want to uh, have shown here uh so we have the model bitmap here you can have the timer so you can set whatever you want but as i said there's a really really cool thing you can uh, get there and i will show you that in another video and yeah so system you have all the system stuff here um 
yeah as i said if there is a special uh something that you want to know about the radio uh how can that be set up i'm not a pro on that uh wouldn't call it like that i played around for a while and i really like it but if you have something special that you want to know if that's working or how it's working feel free to type it in the comments and i will have a, a look uh, together with you guys um to see if we can get that sorted uh as i said it's a it's a, a quite new radio the uh, the uh, setup is, is uh, there is uh, the, uh, like the same on other tandem radios so it's more the uh, xe with the 3d sticks that's really new um, but yeah if you want to know something if that's possible or how is that done just type it in the comments and i will try my best uh, to see if we can do that together and how it's done so uh, if you like no problem okay and as i said there will be another video with another cool function of that radio and uh, so far stay tuned and see you soon so just a quick one because we got that uh, comment on the first video how precise are the sticks um and because there uh, seems to be with older radios some problems that the stick don't find a good center so not a problem at all here same here perfectly centered perfectly zero okay so if there's any, anything else you need to know from the tandem xe feel free to post it in the comments and we'll do a quick video